Hey Vinny, after today's game, a 3-1 win against Les Mahego in the South Challenge Cup. What were your thoughts on the game overall? Uh, I thought it was a, a really professional performance by us. We, we got the job done. And the task set out at 3 o'clock was to make sure we come back in at 5 o'clock and we're through to the next round. So we've achieved that. Um, I think it was a, a bit of a meaty game at times. There's a few kind of aggressive challenges went in, shall we say. But that's an, it's, uh, it's a little part of the game. But... Certainly a few tasty challenges went in the day, that's for sure. But I thought it was a, a few really good individual performances. But Liam Lambenby started his his first game for the first team. I mean, he's, been, he's made a few appearances um, coming from the bench, but that was uh, his first night under the bench, uh, under his belt. I thought he, he handled the game really well. Um, Andy Oram again, really, really good. Uh, Sam Ake, really good. And Jim's, <laughs> Jim's ended up, to, I've done not, not too much to do in the game, but still managed to save a penalty, so... Yeah, there's loads of positives to take from it. Uh, Ryan Coates went on there as a number nine. I thought he was excellent, um, as he has been any time he's came off the bench when he's in that kind of forward area. But he created uh, loads of chances for himself and he, and he got a goal. And how pleasing was it that you, you made a few changes today, a bit of squad rotation even? Um, how pleasing was it that you still came through the game despite those changes? Yeah, listen, um, we need strength, we need depth. Uh, we, we need them boys to come on uh, from the bench and, and change games so like the, the bench was really healthy today but yeah it, it's, it's pleasing and it's really positive to see that we, we can make changes we can put people in different positions and, and we can still still get the result at the end of the day yeah yeah and we word for Reese Patterson who made his debut well second debut for Gretna today um, unfortunate to get an early injury um, what are your thoughts around bringing him into the club at the moment yeah but he, he trained uh, Tuesday and Thursday and he, and he looked really sharp um, he was pinning people, he was holding the ball up, he was turning people, he was getting shots away and going training and I thought he, he looks good, kind of a proper number nine and he's only 21 year old. Mm. Um, so unfortunately he's, he's pulled up in the warm up with, with a bit of a groin problem, overstretched and he was really keen to give it a shot. Then obviously after 10 minutes it was, it was quite apparent that he, he was struggling so uh, we asked him to be honest when he was on the pitch, if he was struggling just put your hands up and we'll, we'll get you off. So we've not, we've not seen the last of Reese. race, um, just unfortunately today. Things didn't quite quite work out for him. Yeah, absolutely. It's a shame for a lad. Um, we move on uh, as ever. We've got Celtic B on Wednesday night. How are you thinking? Looking ahead to that one. <laughs> Aye. Um, so when we played them down here, I thought they were really good. I did. Uh, I thought they were electric going forward. But also, what I did see for that game is we got quite a lot of joy from set pieces, and we really pushed them hard for the last ten minutes. So, um. I'm hoping to go up there and, and go for go for the three points like we do in, in every game, but um, up there, it's a big pitch. Mm. Uh, you better believe that they'll make it even bigger than it actually is, so it's got to be tough, but we've got people to come back. We've got Robbie Iverson, hopefully, got to be fit for that game as well, so we'll go up there and we'll, we'll give it a proper bash, yeah. Yeah, and then back here the following Saturday against Berwick Rangers. Um, a few initial thoughts on that one as well? Yeah, that's that's one of our targets. It's, it's important that we, we get three points from that game uh, if, we, if we want to do well in the league. Uh, like a bang on about all the time, we want to kind of create a wee bit of distance from the bottom half and start looking up the table. And if we were, if we are to do that, we need to get um, f full full points against teams like Berwick Rangers. The teams that round about us, we need to get full points if we want to really kick on this year. Absolutely. Well, we'll wait and see who we get in the next round of the draw, and we'll post that up as soon as we yep. know when that draw is. But in the meantime, Vinny, thanks very much. Have a great night here at Raydale tonight. We've got the Scotland game on just now, and then a single on at seven. Um, yep. And then hopefully we'll see everyone up at Celtic and at home against Berwick Rangers next week. Yeah, thanks very much. Thanks, Vinny. Sure.